Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, March 30th. The time right now is 9.13 a.m. and I'm here on Bloor Street, right in front of Bloor Young Station. And I came downtown this morning and I'm trying to make my way back home. And as I was boarding the train here at Bloor Young Station, they closed the doors and emptied it out and then told everyone to come up here to Young Street to board a shuttle bus. And that was about 25, 30 minutes ago. Here is Young Street. And there are still no shuttle buses in sight. I was one of the first people to make my way out to Young Street to wait for these mythical shuttle buses. And I got kind of tired of waiting and realized I had my camera on me, so why not get out and record this madness? At least there's some employees out here now. For quite a while, it was just a big crowd of frustrated people who were not exactly sure what was going on. I suppose I lost my spot near the front here. But there you go, just a quick look at the madness. Maybe I can go over to the other side of the street. A number of people had ordered lifts and Ubers and were getting picked up. From here to Young and Eglinton, where I live, it said it would be $12.99. And I probably <laughs> should have done that. But I opted to pull out the camera and make a quick video instead. So I guess I will just start walking home. Perhaps based on the fact that they have been so slow to deploy any shuttle buses, not even a single one has left, as those were the same people waiting at the front, they might just be optimistic that they'll get the trains running. I pulled out my phone and it said there were signal problems at Davisville Station. And once they do get the shuttle buses running, I imagine by the time I get to St. Clair, I'll be able to just hop on one of them. I probably won't have any luck getting on them at Rosedale coming up or Summer Hill is not too many people get off of those stations. Here comes a bus. Perhaps this is Destin. No, that's a southbound shuttle bus. So they do have shuttle buses going south. 
I thought that might have been an empty one they're sending into battle, but that will probably turn around at Blur Young. So since I'm in no particular hurry, rather than squeeze myself onto a very crowded shuttle bus, let's just start walking north. And I don't really have a lot of battery life on this camera. But I should be able to make it to St. Clair. Oh! I might have been on that first shuttle bus there. They don't even have the sign illuminated at the top of the bus. And that thing is going to be jam-packed. See how many shuttle buses pass on the way to St. Clair. That would be one. And if they start to empty out and don't look so crowded by the time I get there, I'll probably just jump on one. the temperature right now. I'm trying to pull that up on my watch while I record with the camera. It is apparently just five degrees, but it's supposed to get up to as high as 16 or 17. And my plan was just to come downtown this morning and take care of something and then go home and relax a bit and hop on the bike and record a video or two to take care of the, or take advantage of the nice weather. I certainly <laughs> didn't expect to be marching up Young Street. There's a packed southbound bus. And I do not see any buses behind me. And the way people just kind of rush onto shuttle buses, even though I was one of the first probably five or six people to the curb, there's a chance I wouldn't have gotten on the bus. It really would have just been gambling if the driver lined up his door with the area where I was standing. So I am almost at Rosedale Station, and we've only seen one northbound shuttle bus. Sugarman Park 
and Rosedale Station. That's one of my favorite stations in the city. It's also one of the least used. There is nothing on the way. And while generally the TTC is pretty good most of the time, these kinds of things are unfortunately a fact of life in Toronto. I did have the pleasure of living in Seoul and taking their metro nearly every day for a period of over five years. And despite being immensely larger and more crowded with trains running more frequently, I never experienced a single stoppage or delay that was more than maybe 20 seconds. Still not a sign of any shuttle buses going north. One thing that is possible is they got the trains running so they didn't bother to deploy any northbound shuttle buses, although there did seem to be people waiting at Rosedale. There's a southbound shuttle. Just looked over my shoulder and still no sign of, it, of any of them. This kind of reminds me of a walk that I posted on my Stumbles channel where I was essentially racing streetcars on foot along King Street East. There's a southbound bus. With all the southbound buses that have passed, you would think the service has resumed and these are just sort of some of the first shuttle buses they deployed, just finishing off the route. because the turnaround process at Bloor Young Station is not that hard. They normally make a left at church 
and then kind of loop down to Bloor, drop people off, and then make a right turn onto Young and head north again. Or head up Young. There's the Summer Hill LCBO station, or <laughs> LCBO liquor store, built in a former train station. And there was a beer store across the street, but that appears to be no more. This fountain's kind of unique. You know, dump water onto that top part and tip over. So coming up is Shaftesbury Avenue and just to the right here is the Summer Hill subway station and I see a crowd of people on the sidewalk so I'm guessing they haven't resumed service and unless I got on that very first shuttle bus Seems like I made a half decent decision to keep walking here. Oh, here comes one. So, the subway station is just to the right there. And I don't think these people really thought this through. You are not getting on one of these shuttle buses. If they were to walk north to St. Clair Station, there's actually going to be a fair number of people emptying off the buses but almost nobody is getting off at Summer Hill. So these people are just gonna stand here for wave after wave of shuttle buses. There might've been five people that got off that. The correct move, in my opinion, Providing you don't have any type of mobility issues, would just to be to walk north for a few minutes up to St. Clair Station. Because that's a major enough station that there'll be a good number of people unloading off of every bus. And I'd like to think that the people waiting would be considerate enough to let anybody with mobility issues to go to the front of the line and get on the next shuttle bus. make a quick trip to drop something off in the morning, I said. I'll be back in no time. <laughs> wow, that's how long it took that shuttle bus to leave Summer Hill. That is just bus number two. a bunch of sardines.
All right, I'm rolling up my sleeves now. And it doesn't look like I have much battery left, but I do have a rechargeable battery pack. So I guess I could always plug that in if I <laughs> keep walking north. I figured by the time I got to St. Clair, they'd have their SHIT together. There's a 97 bus. That's the normal Young Street bus. That thing's gonna be packed. Bus number three. And four, all right, they're rolling now. This has gotta be well over 40 minutes since they started the shutdown, so. A whole lot of people are late to where they're going. And that driver was nice enough to let some people off and on. Actually, in hindsight, I find that kind of mildly infuriating because he lets people on at a stop that isn't even a stop at the expense of people that queued up properly here at St. Clair. He's basically giving the middle finger to the people that waited to where, the, where they should wait. I've had that happen on the 60 bus on Dufferin Street. We're right at Dufferin and Steele's. On the east side of Dufferin and Steele's, heading eastbound, there's an express stop. And on the west side is the regular stop. And when I used to work up in that area, probably seven or eight years ago, I would look at my phone, figure out when the next bus was coming, and if it was the express bus, I'd go wait on that side. And so many times the express bus would stop at the non-express stop and fill up with people and then skip all the people that were waiting for it at the proper stop. I even wrote to the TTC to complain and they called me to apologize and said that they would reach out to the driver, but that was just an ongoing problem that never went away. I'm just trying to get by all these people here. I would say maybe one in four or one in five times that happened. There's a look at the people at St. Clair. I figured by now enough shuttle buses would have gone by that I could have just hopped on one, but. That will not be the case. I do have a TTC monthly pass. I'm certainly putting that to good use, but essentially walking from downtown now to midtown at Young and St. Clair.
all those people that signed up for the annual program. I don't know if you still pay in advance or not, and if they got refunded, or were given the option to refund their purchase due to the pandemic. There's a lot less people. We're taking the subway. I think you just sort of sign up for a recurring payment now. I'll have to look into that. Lost count of how many buses have gone by. And I certainly didn't think this battery would hold up. I brought my backpack with me and I left the camera in it from a walk in live stream I had recorded yesterday. And I didn't bother to charge it. One Delisle, that's supposed to be a really nice looking condo. So at this point, I can be reasonably confident. I'd be home by now, probably. But I just would have been one more person smushed into a bus during what they are calling <laughs> is the third wave of a pandemic. So I think I'm doing the right thing here. No one really knows what exactly the right thing is anymore. We get so many mixed messages. Four minutes to Eglinton, according to that sign. Well, it's not specifying what mode of travel. Four wheels, sure. Two wheels, maybe seven minutes on a bike, but walking, nope. And unfortunately for you, the viewer, now Young Street is not all that interesting. At least not until I get up to Chaplin and Davisville. We'll be walking by Mount Pleasant Cemetery on the right. And normally I like to be on the left side of the street so I can be up close with the subway trains as they roar by, but I don't think we'll be seeing any of those. There's the entrance to the extremely large Mount Pleasant. If you look at the city of Toronto from Google Maps and you just look over Mount Pleasant, you'll be hard pressed to find any space or park that's bigger than it. I think High Park. But it's certainly enormous and some of the ravine spaces and stuff of course but 
I always kind of wonder what will happen in a hundred years when most people have only distant connections to a place that's occupying such a prime spot of land in the city. Perhaps just kind of turn it into a city park and keep the tombstones in place. This might sound morbid, but I don't want to <laughs> take up a spot in the ground after I go. Turn me into dust. Do whatever you want. Hey, a train. And there's people on it. Woo! Will we see a northbound train? I'm kind of conflicted. I like the idea of walking all the way home. But if I can just hop into the subway at Davisville and, and just head north for one stop, that would be swell. I'm not crazy that southbound train did have people on it. So maybe we'll see a northbound train at some point lurch forward here. And there's the K Gardner Beltline Trail. There's a chief supervisor vehicle for the Toronto Transit Commission. And this is where the headquarters of the TTC are located. Right at, they say Young and Davisville, but it's really Young and Chaplin, as Chaplin is on the west side. Hey, a northbound train, show me some people. Oh, there's people on the southbound train, but there's nobody on the northbound. Here is Merton Street. This is really kind of a neat underrated street. I recorded a walk that went along there. I think that was about a month ago or so.
Well, I guess I'll know if the subway is operating, if there's a large crowd of people on the street corner here. And my phone battery here is not flashing red, but if I was in a car, I'm pretty sure the needle would be right up against the E. All right, there doesn't appear to be a large crowd of people. There's a few people waiting. Let's go into the subway station and find out. What exactly is going on? Normally, there'd be a large crowd of people right on that street corner. I think there would be... Oh. Line one has resumed service. It's official. And I hear a train rolling in right now. And maybe it won't be that busy with everyone. being smooshed onto buses. But it looks like I'll get to take the subway home after all. <laughs> Initially, this was just going to be a very short video showing the crowd of people at Young and Bloor, saying, look what's happening. And I would have posted that to my Johnny Stumbles channel where I post shorter style videos and more vloggy stuff. But now it's kind of turned into a full-blown walk-in video. So I don't really know which channel this will end up on, but if you are interested in that, that shorter style of content, Head over to Johnny Stumbles and subscribe if you're not already watching this there. Well, oh, here we go. And if my camera craps out because I have absolutely no faith in it, thanks for watching. There are links to my Patreon and Instagram in the description. I posted a picture of outside waiting for the shuttle bus on Instagram earlier. I'm just looking at that now. 56 likes so far. I don't know if that's good or not, <laughs> but uh, choo choo. Line one. Four.
Please stand clear of the doors. Well, this is a very socially distanced subway train. Next station is Edmonton, Edmonton Station. See that kids, all you have to do is walk a long ways and watch several crammed sh shuttle buses go by and then get on <laughs> the stop before your destination. Just TTC things. I'm not bitter, just used to it. Oh, and the camera went red, so I fully expect this thing to die any minute. So hopefully we'll at least make it to the Eglinton subway platform. We are now indoors. They must have deployed this train from maybe Summer Hill or St. Clair. And there might have been still people out waiting for shuttle right. buses when it went by. Station. Doors will open on so the I left. started here and I walked to here and now we are here. Woohoo! Line one, Fort Finch. It is unusually dead. Maybe I can at least get out to a street level here. So here we are. Young in Eglinton, and my camera is just about to give up the ghost. That's okay, I gotta go in and buy some bananas at the metro. I don't know why people 